Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Dr. Jahangir, and you are watching me on my YouTube channel, that is Dr. Jahangir's channel. Well, today we are going to talk about a very important topic that is uh, a relationship between headache and blood pressure. Is it the high blood pressure that you gives you a headache, or is it the headache that gives you high blood pressure? Now, before going into the discussion of this topic, let's first discuss the normal physiological response that whenever there is a psychological or physical stress to the body, what is the normal response of the body? The normal response of the body is there is release of cortisol. So when there is a release of cortisol, the cortisol actually increases the, 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 the response of the noradrenaline, the epinephrine on the blood vessel and on the heart. So there is a tachycardia and there is a vasoconstriction. So it means there will be increase in blood pressure. If there is a stress to the body, there is increase in blood pressure. Now we see a lot of patients coming to the emergency department and to the OPD. And the patient is complaining of the headache. And they are relating this headache to the high blood pressure. And when you take the blood pressure that is high, and we start this patient on antihypertensive medication. After two days or three days, the patient land in the emergency again. And the patient is having a history of syncope or dizziness or heart block. BP is 70 by 30. The reason is the patient was having high blood pressure during the headache. The same phenomena I discussed earlier. When the patient is having a headache, what happens? Release of cortisol because this is a stress. And the cortisol causes increase in blood pressure. So when you medicate this patient for the high blood pressure that was secondary to the headache, they will land after a couple of days with the low BP, high potential and syncope. Now contrary to that patient, if there is another patient who is already diagnosed case of hypertension or high blood pressure, if that patient presents with the headache, then there are chances that this headache is caused by high blood pressure. Now, if high blood pressure can cause headache, it can cause you other symptoms as well. It can give you uh, malignant hypertension. There is only one condition that is called malignant hypertension. So in malignant hypertension, you can have uh, a, a headache, but there are other signs as well. It can cause hypertension. In cephalopathy, the patient is unconscious or the patient is drowsy and the patient is, uh, uh, is not feeling uh, well. And the patient eyesight is weak because it can have all the, the artery, the end artery of the, of the eyes, it can have all the heart, the patient can have MI, the patient can have renal involvement, but that is already hypertensive case. That may be because of hypertension, but the real problem is the patient is not hypertensive that comes to OROPD and he is thinking that this headache is caused by blood pressure and they by himself or her, herself medicate for the self-medication over here is a very dangerous thing and the second thing that is for the doctors if this is the first time the patient is presenting to you with the headache and, the, the, and you are uh, reporting a high BP don't start directly the patient on antihypertensive medication. If there are no risk factors, because the patient will land in ER after a couple of days with the low BP, syncope and dizziness, and even sudden death, the patient can present with shock. So the bottom line is, if the patient is having headache and high blood pressure, and he is not previously hypertensive patient, Pick the BP two or three times whenever the headache subsides. When you are having a no headache, check blood pressure at that time. 
even if still you are having the high reading then it means you most probably have hypertension but a single reading with a headache is not the diagnosis of high blood pressure treat the headache follow the patient after a couple of days when the headache is gone check blood pressure again take a couple of readings over a couple of weeks or months then label the patient as hypertensive we will make another video on the headache this is the discussion on the headache and hypertension i hope you have got my answer to the question the relation between the headache and hypertension it is a very really critical relation in a summary hypertension can give you headache and headache can give you hypertension but if a person is not hypertensive previously and he is having a headache and there is a single reading of hypertension most probably this headache is giving you a high bp reading so treat the headache check the blood pressure after a week or two when the headache is gone if there is a normal reading it means you are not hypertensive thanks for watching please do subscribe my channel press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my new